How to find keywords for affiliate marketing. Hey everybody, this is Mark with Adventures in Ecom. And if you do this one thing right, then this business can be paying your mortgage in three to six months. If you do this one thing wrong, you know the deal. Now, I have a friend of mine, a colleague of mine, and his name is Mr. J. And he showed me a pretty valuable lesson a couple years ago at a conference in in Vegas, in Las Vegas, uh, when it comes to searching for keywords. So we're gonna get into doing all that. But first, I wanna say, take a quick second and subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know, my goal here is to produce weekly videos with valuable information, valuable content that helps you ultimately succeed online, whether it's e-commerce or affiliate marketing or whatever it is you're trying to do. I cover a lot of it here. So subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified. Don't forget to, speaking of notified, hit the bell icon. Now, getting into uh, these finding keywords for affiliate marketing, this is the fourth video in my series. The meat and potatoes started with video number two, and that really was all about finding your market or that audience of hungry people that have a problem. The next video in the series was really all about figuring out how you're going to get paid and finding the offer. Now, what we're going to do here once we've accomplished, since we've accomplished those things, I'll put a card, uh, actually a link to those or that playlist uh, right up here in the corner. But what we need to do next is we need to find all of our keywords that are related to that niche. We need to find the right keywords so that when we get around to, in the up and coming videos, building uh, a niche specific website, a content based blog website, that we're writing the right way, we are using the right words so that ultimately over the long term, we're going to get the benefit from that SEO traffic. Also in the short term with paid traffic, uh, our relevancy score is going to be higher. And so what that means is your paid traffic cost is going to go down. So there is a great benefit in finding the keywords. Now, I know I keep having you look at this uh, screen, this morning fame research tool. This is a tool that I use specifically to pick the right keywords for my YouTube channel. Um, but there are some old school ways of going about it. You, Morning Fame is an analytics um, program, but there are some old school ways about going about it, and that's what I'm going to cover uh, right now. And I just wanna talk about all of these different keyword tools. Um, you need to be a little cautious, be a little careful when you use a lot of them. Um, there are so many of them that cost 50, 60, $70 a month, and they're just not accurate. Sure, they can do a lot of good things for you, like helping you find some keyword ideas and things of that nature, uh, but ultimately that keyword information, a lot of that keyword data just isn't accurate. So I'm gonna take you through some free techniques on how to find keywords so that ultimately you're not spending $70 a month on a tool that doesn't work. Remember, every dollar you spend in your business, uh, whether it's hosting or email or keyword tools or whatever, it all has to have a benefit that is commiserate with its price point. So I'm gonna show you free, and it's hard to beat that price point. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, keywords, uh, the Google Ads Keyword Planner um, in the Google Ads interface. So if you don't have a Google Ads account yet, um, hopefully you have a, a Google account or a Gmail account or something along those lines. If you do, just log in, sign up for Google Ads, and you'll have access um, to the Keyword Planner. And I have another little uh, shortcut here. Yes, it's a tool, and I know I just denounced tools a minute ago, but uh, I want you to know about this very popular tool, Keywords Everywhere. It's a little browser plugin, and it pulls information directly from um, the API of Google uh, AdWords and Google, uh, as do a lot of these uh, paid keyword tools. Um, the difference here is I'm mostly going to be looking at it and using it for keyword idea generation and not really um, you know, resting on the laurels or the accuracy of the keyword data. However, I will say um, I did this quick search for hair gel for men uh, and it had a volume of, and it shows right here, also with the browser plugin, it'll show up right here. Also, uh, if you just start to type in the autocomplete, it will show some of this information in this data right in here. And that's very, very handy. But once you select a search term um, and hit enter, it will give you this. So it tells me that the volume is 14,800 um, searches a month, gives me a cost per click average and a competition level. Now I did the same exact search. Uh, oops, this is 
Oh yeah, here it is. I did a men's hair cream search, but hair gel for men, here's 14, 8, 65, and 1. So it really is pulling that same information directly from uh, the Google Ads interface. Now, having said all that, uh, in the first videos, we really kind of selected our uh, market. Uh, I keep using the camping as uh, an example. And so I'm gonna stick with that uh, example. Now, one of the things that uh, is just a super great way, and this is a trick that I use and a thing that I use on YouTube all the time um, to come up with this, how to find keywords for affiliate marketing. If I, if I go uh, to YouTube, let me just pull YouTube up real quick, and I'm gonna say how to find keywords for affiliate marketing. You really want to use the autocomplete function from your browser and let Google tell you exactly uh, what its autocomplete is. And it ranks the autocomplete feature um, in terms of greatest search volume. So the ones that are generally listed at the beginning, um, at the top of this list here, have the higher search volume and they work their way down. So that really is a big a big thing about how we're going to go about doing this and zeroing in on our niche and using the right keywords to really build out our blogs and build out our content sites that are going to drive the sales for us in this affiliate game. So let me jump over, uh, let me jump back over here to camping. Um, you can see it gives me keyword related uh, ideas, camping gear. Um, I think in one of the other videos, it was a camping checklist and I really liked it. A camping checklist for kids I love that um, that's a great idea and that is really kind of a sub niche but we can if we had a, a blog that revolved around doing just this you know we could uh, come in here and make sure that we had articles that revolved around this on our website um, so that we could promote products for this very thing now one of the things that I wanted to talk about is um, just a couple variations in the Google search uh, field here I want to see if I put brackets, I'm sorry, not brackets, if I put quotation marks around it and I hit enter, it's gonna show me uh, 195,000 results. That means there are 195,000 sites that have this exact phrase in them. So 195,000, uh, right off the bat, that's uh, pretty good and low competition. It's actually really good and low competition. If I select, if I'm gonna remove these for a second and in front here, I'm gonna put in title so in the title there are actually more um, uh, so that tells me a little something so we have about 329,000 websites that have a page title that is has this phrase in it now if I put in URL we have about 104,000 that have a URL that is very specific to that um, to that search term. So, you, you know, you can play with this a little bit and really get a good gauge on how much competition is really out there uh, that is in your niche. So this will give you a really good idea. Now, what I like to do after doing these things so that I know what I'm up against, you know, if this, you can tell right away, these numbers are really good, 100,000, 300,000, these numbers are super, super good to break into a niche market. If I took that out and came in here, if I started looking at um, some of these um, some of these top performing or top results uh, on the first page of Google um, childhood 101 family camping checklist um, I would probably jump in to here and see what information is on there here's another one it's REI um, this doesn't here's a camping checklist to help get you started so REI is a pretty big one um, here's a uh, clean and sensible <laughs> sensible uh, a little play on that right there. Ultimate guide to camping with kids. So um, what I like to do is come in here and see how these guys are doing in terms of getting ranked. So, you know, do these guys have, you know, maybe a, it uh, doesn't look like that's too much in terms of words. We can come here and I'm just going to scroll down through this article and see real quick we're to about here and I'm gonna right click and hit word count and there's 847 words in this article that's another little uh, word a little program uh, plugin that I have in my browser um, but 847 word article so what I would do is I would go and rip off on my blog 
a 2,500 word article that is uh, SEO'd specifically towards this particular uh, keyword niche uh, so that I could ultimately work on outranking these guys. And I would do the same thing uh, for these other sites because ultimately what I want to do is beat out one of the guys here on the first page. Is it gonna happen overnight? No. Uh, is it gonna happen in the short term? Probably not. But this affiliate marketing game is a long-term sustainable game. The nice thing about this is once you do it, you don't have to go back to it too often uh, and continually, you know, you don't have to keep digging that ditch forever. So you do the work, put up your page, SEO it appropriately, but do the research and know what you're up against first. So again, just to kind of recap on it is, you know, what, what I'm trying to tell you here is use the autocomplete functionality uh, for the Google search field to really zero in on things. And you can, here's camping checklist, uh, I'm gonna hit T, and then I'm just gonna hit space A. Uh, here's app, Alberta, Australia, uh, article, no. I'm gonna hit B. Uh, camping checklist for the beach, maybe, baby, backpacking, beginners. Uh, you know, these are all good uh, types of uh, sub niches. We can hit C, so clothes, cabin, camper, uh, so Google will sit here and just spit out the autocomplete words and give you really good ideas. Uh, so I'm going to hit close and then, oh, here's keywords everywhere. Thanks that I am, uh, uh, not keywords everywhere. Google thinks that I am uh, perhaps a robot. Uh, so because the keywords everywhere API does some stuff on the back, uh, back end. So it's also um, using some searches from my IP address. But um, here's a great... Uh, another set of related keywords, uh, camping essentials, checklist, PDF. So definitely want to put a PDF on my blog if I'm writing it about um, these types of articles. But the last thing on my list, and we've already, uh, the last thing on my mind for this particular video is, uh, now we've already found an audience in the first video, the first step, and the next video we found uh, offers and things like that. But sometimes when you're doing this work and you get into a trench and you, uh, you know, go off on a tangent, uh, maybe you need to kind of switch gears. So a really quick and easy way to do a search to make sure that there are some affiliate programs in this niche, we can go affiliate programs and then hit the plus sign. And we're going to say uh, camping, uh, camping, let's just say camping. And here's high paying affiliate offers, Coleman, 10 camping affiliate programs. So just, you know, I think the point here is uh, I'm much more the type of person that will teach you how to fish instead of just feeding you that fish dinner. So um, come through here. Don't be afraid to hit the button and do some searches. And back to my friend, uh, Mr. J in Las Vegas, he sat down and showed me all this, but we were standing there in Las Vegas and he says to me, um, we're talking to him about keyword ideas and suggestions and how he goes about it and all of those sorts of things. And he says to me, give me 20 bucks. I'm like, what do you mean give you $20? So he says, just give me $20 uh, and then we're gonna go through this. So I give him $20 and we go through it. He sits down, we sit down in one of the laptops and he goes through this and shows me just how easy this is and how he was able to increase his sales and revenue and traffic just by rolling up his sleeves and doing the work uh, and not relying on those expensive keyword tools that you think you need, so which you don't. So I said, well, why, why did you make me give you $20? And he said, well, if I would have just showed you this, then it would have just been in one ear and out the other, uh, and you probably would have never come around and done it. But since I gave you $20, you, since you gave me $20, you were much more intent on listening to uh, exactly how this works, and you're more likely, after paying for something, more likely to actually put it to good use. And I've been using this for so many of my keywords for the last couple of years now, and it works just beautifully. So I hope that you got some great value out of this video. Um, let me know in the comments below um, how you like to go about finding the right keywords for your niche in your affiliate marketing program. Um, share with everybody down in the comments below, and um, I will see you as always on the next video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos and don't forget to like this video. Now watch that video next. Go ahead, watch that video.